From coast to coast, people are fleeing flames, wind, and water. They're very dangerous conditions, and um, in 22 years of doing this, I've never seen fire conditions like we're seeing now. The Calder Fire has forced tens of thousands of people in the South Lake Tahoe area to evacuate. It's the 15th largest wildfire in California history. And out of the largest 20 California fires, 11 of them happened in the last five years. Up the coast, the Pacific Northwest saw a record-breaking heat wave earlier in the summer. The Red Cross traditionally doesn't support cooling centers, but this is unfortunately our new normal. This is the first time it was 116 degrees. It won't be the last time. In the south, people are displaced from Hurricane Ida, which arrived on the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. And in the northeast... We are in a whole new world now. Let's be blunt about it. The remnants of Ida brought flash flooding and tornadoes to areas that rarely saw these events in the past. The records that were broken in Central Park, for example, 3.15 inches in one hour. It broke a record literally set one week earlier. That says to me that there are more, no more cataclysmic, unforeseeable events. In August, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said it is, quote, unequivocal that humans have caused the climate crisis. The report confirms that widespread and rapid changes have already happened, some of them irreversibly. A lead author of that report, Kim Cobb, explains how the Earth has warmed more than one degree Celsius since pre-industrial levels. We, of course, known for decades that rise in fossil fuel emissions are driving warming across the planet. This warming is related to the heating of the atmosphere that has caused a 7% increase in the amount of water vapor that the atmosphere can hold. More water vapor leads to higher humidity. In some areas, more drought. We've had drought cycles, but this is the first time we've ever seen a mega drought where it's year after year. And in other areas, a potential for more rainfall and more frequent heavy rainstorms. With oceans retaining more heat, hurricanes can get stronger, slower, and wetter. And Ida was a prime example of those changes. With every fraction of a degree of warming, the effects get worse. If we think this is bad, we have to get ready for the climate of the next decades when we know we have a couple tenths of a degree warming more. In the UN report's most optimistic scenario, the world's emissions need to drop sharply, beginning now, to net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Even then, we'll peak above a dangerous warming threshold before falling again.